So while I was out and about doing my chores this morning, I was checking on the pig pasture we put in. I am worried about my fence. Something ran through it. You ready? Let's go. Come on. You goof. Let's go. So while I was out and about doing my chores this morning, I was checking on the pig pasture we put in. We don't leave them in it during the night because you never know might, what might happen. I'm not afraid for them, but I am worried about my fence. Something ran through it. That's why I don't leave the pigs out at night. I don't, not, like I said, I'm not worried about the pigs getting hurt. I'm more worried about the fence getting ruined and the pigs getting out. So that's one of the reasons why I like having a nice secure pen made out of cattle panels to put the pigs in at night. I don't want to have to worry about a bear or a coyote coming in and ripping the fence down. I'm not overly concerned about them getting the pigs. At this point, the pigs are big enough. I think they defend themselves pretty good. We have so much time, energy, food, appreciation and respect for these animals that if anything's gonna get these animals it's gonna be this guy right here he's gonna be getting some bacon from them I ain't gonna be feeding no bears or coyotes so definitely recommend a secure pen at night let's see if we can find any tracks that show us what it was I'm thinking it was either a bear or a deer I've been finding bear turds in the yard and we are in an apple orchard we have quite a few apple trees in the property, so I'm assuming one animal was walking through last night looking for apples and walked right through the fence and didn't even know it. That baby was kicking 6,000 volts, so I'm sure they felt it and didn't like it. So the fence down here on this end is all jacked up too. Not seeing any tracks yet. Let's go ahead and fix the fence. Sure, whatever hit this thing felt it and didn't like it, so hopefully it won't be back anytime soon. It's one reason why I like to make sure the fence is hitting hot. The pigs are trained to it. But the wild animals don't know to respect it yet. They will after a few times of walking into it. I got to bring a hammer down with me, so we're just going to have to make do with what's here. Got some chunks of wood that I cut down. Whatever it was running through here, they were moving pretty fast when they hit that fence. Here's the post, and there's the insulator. That's 10 feet slid right up off and popped over there. There's another one somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. Here's the other insulator right here. On the wire still fell off, so. Go ahead and put that back on. I'll be curious to see if that other, if whatever it is comes back tonight, if they try to come through the fence or not. I know anytime I've touched this fence, I felt it and regretted it, so. The good thing is once the pigs respect it, you don't gotta worry about them. They're not gonna try to test it and see. They know it hurts and they're not going to want to do it again. So let's go walk around the fence, make sure all the fence is off the ground, and then we'll go plug it in. All right, looking good. The piggies want out.
my pants off for you to chew on. So if you guys have any ideas of what you think it was that ran through the fence, leave them in the comments below. Any ideas that can help me keep the bears from running through the fence, let me know on that one too. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it. It really helps. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.